Shawarma is a popular Middle Eastern dish which consists of thin slices of meat which is stacked in a cone-like shape and is roasted in a vertical rotisserie. At gaya nga nang sabi ko sa inyo kanina, nag-crave ako ng shawarma kaya ngayon naman ay gagawa ako ng sarili kong version ng shawarma. Pero gawin nating maswak sa panlasang Pinoy, gawin nating shawarma rice. Pero bago ako magsimula, of course, don't forget to like this video so that more people can watch. And if you're new to my channel, hello everyone, I am Chef Mom Rosebud. Mag-subscribe na rin kayo. Anyway, huwag na natin patagalin. Let's start cooking! Una natin gagawin is to marinate our beef. So I have here a bowl. We're gonna be using beef, which is sirloin cut. So thin slice lang ito ng ating beef. Some people use chicken. Meron din gumagamit ng ground beef. That is fine. But for my version, I'm using the sirloin cut of beef. Then we add soy sauce, brown sugar, garlic powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, cumin, some black pepper, and lemon juice. Okay, so just mix everything. So ideally, you marinate this for around 30 minutes, minimum of 30 minutes, to at least overnight para mas maging malasa, mas kumapit yung marinade natin dun sa ating karne. And since I like my shawarma a bit spicy, lalagyan ko ng isang peraso na siling labuyo ang ating marinade. We cover this with a cling wrap and place it in the chiller. Set aside muna natin for around 30 minutes. Okay, so now we make the shawarma rice. Ang gagawin nyo lang doon sa bigas nyo ay inyong i-rinse off, huhugasan nyo twice, like how you would normally cook your rice. So I'm using here white rice, jasmine rice, pwede kayong gumamit ng basmati rice. If you can't find that, pwede namang any kind of white rice will do. Huwag na natin pahirapan ng ating mga sarili. So just place it in a rice cooker. And then, so this is two cups. I'll be adding two cups of water as well. So we have here our curry powder. We also have our kasubha. At another pampalasa ay ang ating margarine. Haluin lang natin ng slight. And then we cook this in our rice cooker. Lagay lang natin dito. Now we make the garlic yogurt sauce. It's very simple. We just need our plain Greek yogurt. Garlic powder and fresh minced garlic. So just mix everything here, dito sa ating bowl. This is the basic garlic yogurt sauce, but I like my sauce for my shawarma spicy. So this is optional, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be adding two tablespoons of sriracha sauce. So just add it there and mix everything. So we just set this aside. Pwede natin ilagay ito sa isang squeeze bottle para mas madali natin malagay sa ating shawarma rice later on. Okay, now we make our cucumber salad. It's very simple. We have here our sliced cucumber. We have here our tomatoes. Let's add a little bit of olive oil. We add some salt and pepper. Okay, so just mix everything. Chill nyo na rin para mas masarap. Mm. Okay, so now lulutuin na natin yung ating beef tapa. So we just heat up our pan. Let's add a little bit of oil sa ating pan. So I'm gonna be adding a little bit of salt. Kung napansin nyo, hindi ako naglagay ng salt kanina. So ngayon na ako maglalagay. Ayoko kasi na masyadong umalat. Okay, let's mix, mix. Mix it. So once your oil is hot already, we now start adding our beef sirloin. So, ngatan lang natin na huwag masyadong masama yung marinade. Ayan. We want that sizzling sound. This is sliced very thinly so it will cook fast. Approximately around 2 minutes per side lang to. Doon sa mga nanonood ngayon, this is far from the authentic flavor of shawarma. Kasi kung napapansin nyo, Actually, 1990s nung nauso ang shawarma dito sa Pilipinas. I remember, nag-attend pa ako ng seminar niyan. If you want to franchise. Pero ngayon, marami ng mga shawarma food stalls na medyo lasang Pinoy na. So, ito, medyo Filipinized na siya. This is not authentic. Not the authentic flavor of shawarma, but still equally good. Kasi nga, ba kanina I mentioned during the intro, na it is usually roasted sa isang vertical roast. Tapos yung kinukuha, yung tinatapis ng ganun with a knife. 
Eh, siyempre, kung wala kayong ganun, pwedeng ganito ang gawin nyo sa bahay, di ba? Bihira naman ang merong ganun sa bahay. <laughs> So just continue to fry until it cooks on both sides. This is good. Take out the first batch. Try this at home, mga kashefis, ha? This is so simple to make, so easy. Your family will enjoy this. So you could prepare this dun sa ating... Yung, the way it is usually served is sa pita bread, hindi ba? Tapos alagyan mo lang din ng cucumber, ng tomatoes, ng onions with a sauce. Yung iba nga ngayon, nilalagyan na ng cheese sauce, mayroong garlic, yung garlic yogurt sauce lang. So, you could serve it like that or like how I'm gonna be serving it today. With rice. Kasi nga tayo mga Pinoy, mahilig sa kanin. Hindi komplet, hindi kompleto ang kainan pag walang kanin. We'll just give this another minute. Tapos, ready na to. Yung ating rice is also cooking very nicely. I'll get back to you later. Ipiplate na natin to. So, strips. Tikman nga natin. Mmm, get up. Ayan na mga ka-chefies, tapos ng aking shawarma rice. Diba napakadali lang niyang gawin? And it's very, very delicious. I hope that you enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, please don't forget to like, to share, to comment. At sabi ko nga kanina, kung hindi pa kayo nagsosubscribe, mag-subscribe na rin kayo. See you again next time mga ka-chefies. Follow for more recipes. Siyempre, tiki man time. Kuha muna ako. Hmm, kailangan may kanin. Mmm!